Okay. You didn't say action. Oh, action. Has it been rolling this whole time? I'm yeah. going to look so silly on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. So, <laughs> all right. So here we're going to talk about some practical application of all the work that you put in for transitioning your weight and your pivoting um, and the way that you, you use these small tactics, right? This very basic and fundamental uh, tool to uh, how to use it in the ring and how to use it against your opponent. So again, with Becca, we're going to get in our boxing stance. Hands up. And um, the first thing we're going to talk about, like right now we're on the line, right? And I could throw a right hand at her, she could throw a right hand at me, and we're in danger of being punched, right? Because we're, we've already closed the distance, right? And we're going to talk about um, moving in... Um, uh, moving in front of your opponent so that you can stay in position to punch and how you can effectively do that. So she's gonna take a the same kind of movement, right, as she's slipping a punch, right, and she's just gonna move off the line with it. Okay. Go ahead. So she dips down and now she turns out and she pivots off the line and now she's in position to throw a punch, right? And uh, um, and it's just a, a very simple technique to to effectively move and get away or get around your opponent while you're standing in front of them. Um, and it's the same thing as if you were throwing a punch and then moving off the line or if you're slipping a punch and moving off the line. So the next one is I'm going to be throwing a right hand at her and it's going to be exactly the same as the counter punch drill where she's going to slip it to the outside. Um, but this time instead of waiting for me to throw a left hook so she can roll it um, like you should never ever do. You should never do that in a real fight. Um, it's a nice trick to have to be able to roll those punches and doing those things is going to help you with these fundamentals But you never want to stay on the line with your opponent So I'm gonna get back on the line and I'm gonna throw a right hand and she's gonna slip and now she's gonna pivot off the line Rather than waiting for the left hook and because she's off the line and maybe I threw another punch I'm out of position now and she's been able to use this fundamental tool to gain a Position against me so that she can again throw some more punches which I can slip and then move back onto the line with her. Um, and the last part, the last way that you can use this fundamentally um, is moving off the line after you throw your own punches. And it works exactly the same way. So I'm gonna get on the line, she's gonna throw a right hand, and I'm gonna slip it, and she's gonna pivot off the line and now I'm again out of position off of her punch and she's able to throw another punch at me, which again, uh, I can move off the line. And all of this is done uh, through the very simple and fundamental aspect of transitioning your weight in boxing. Uh, and knowing how to do this is gonna create so many more opportunities to score against your opponent um, than you know hours of sitting in front of the bag and throwing punches or um, you know hitting the punch mitts. You know, this, you know, a lot of people think that the fundamentals of boxing are punching your opponent. And boxing is really all about um, positioning, you know, and, and figuring out how to get into those positions or using these tools uh, to, to, you know, score. But Matt, I thought I was supposed to get stronger in the arms. <laughs> oh, completely unprompted question uh, or and unrehearsed. Uh, so we were talking while we were... We were, um, I was explaining some of this stuff and we talked about um, uh, like punch theory, right? And if you, if you like, um, there's an exercise you can do where you kind of square up against the wall and you'll push against the wall and you'll notice that the farther you transition your hips and get on the ball of your foot, the more power you kind of get into your, uh, into your push. And the idea behind um, transferring your weight and turning like this is so that you can kind of get into that space at the end of your punch. Uh, and that's what's going to create power in your punch. But again, all of it is from your ability to transfer your weight. Um, and again, uh, one thing I want to I point out is that when you're doing this stuff in the beginning of your training, you don't want to be using speed or power. You don't want to worry about driving off, right? Uh, driving off and digging your, your ball, the ball of your foot into the, into the ground when you turn to get power into the shot. You just want to focus on the movements. Yeah, Do it, you know, really exaggerated and um, eventually you're going to pick up the muscle memory so that you can do it uh, without thinking about it and and uh, just extremely easily. Um, 
Anyway, um, yeah, that's it, guys.